I missed it. PK versus Leno. Leno has to get to it. He does so, but it still goes in. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports. Welcome to season two of our career mode with Bayer Leverkusen. Yes, we are starting it off fast. Not just kidding, guys. As you can see, Fabian Scher is now in our team. He signed the pre-contract last season. But I want to see 1,000 likes for this video to go ahead and upload the second one today. And that will be a face cam video. Hope you guys enjoy that. By the way, if you guys need some coins, go ahead and check out the link in the description below and use the code Jani to get 8% off and they will also pay your EA taxes. Assistant coaches, as you can see, the objectives that we have this season are pretty much the same as the last season, which is good because our team is not expecting us to win everything. Everything? What was that about? But 17 million and 80k. This is our budget and you guys will have to decide a lot, except in the striking position. Yes, I want to get rid of Paco Alcacer. Yes, guys, chill out. I know he's maybe the best player in your team, but for me, it's not working because his defensive work rate, it's high. Th that is just ridiculous. Why does a striker have high defensive work rate and medium attacking work rate? So basically, that is the reason I'm trying to get rid of him and get in a new striker for our team. I'm sorry if you love him. He did well in a couple of situations in this career mode in the first season. I think he scored like 15 or 16 goals. But to be honest, I expect a lot more goals from our uh, striker in one season. As you can see right here, I'm trying to transfer list a couple of players. Volscheid, Janschke, who I bought in the first season. And many of you guys said he's not good enough. And thank you for that. I realize that right now. And I will try to get rid of him. Milik is also on the transfer list because he wants to leave. He just wants to leave. And if I don't let him go, he will in the end go for like 400k or something. So I had to go ahead and accept the offer for 1.9 million, which is ridiculous for a talented player like him. But sadly, he is going because he's not happy in our team. He barely uh, was in our team. He just got back from the loan. And in the end, I don't know what happened. But right here, Leno, the player I wasn't really too happy with at some time. Sometimes he did really amazing. And most of the time, I felt like, ah, he's maybe not good enough. I know his stats are looking great, but somehow... He doesn't really perform, so I decided to go ahead and counter offer 30 million for Wolfsburg and 35 million for Barcelona, who actually have Ter Stegen, who is basically the same. But I don't care, I will take the money if they offer 35 million. As you can see right here, Philip Walscheid, Genoa tries to get him. He's 26 years old, 77, has okay potential, but he's just way too slow. I think he has like 50 acceleration or something, and that is not good enough against the strikers that are in the Bundesliga. Wolfsburg offered 21 million for Leno. I did not accept that. Hakan Chala Olu is not going anywhere never ever only if he wants to leave and he just forces us to go ahead and sell him hopefully that won't happen I will try and go ahead and loan him out when that happens and then get him back so that he's happy again but as you can see Paco Alcacer is getting some transfer offers but the more important thing is that Leno is now gone to Barcelona. Yes, guys, I've sold him because he was just too inconsistent. And if you have watched this series properly, you will know that he is not the best goalkeeper I had so far in this game. So right now, we needed a new goalkeeper. And the first one that came into my mind was Handanovic. He's now 87 rated. Yes, holy shit. He will be worth a ton, but he was old. So I thought... Maybe 25 million is going to be enough to get this guy, even though he still has a three-year contract. The next one I wanted to get was Mandanda. He has a five-year contract as a 30-year-old player. So I had to offer a bit more in the end for Mandanda and Tanzanovic. But more importantly, along the way, I was basically the whole time I was thinking about which striker to get and there were a lot of people that are young with high potential and stuff like that 
But in the end, I just wanted to get a real striker. Someone that is going to be scoring a lot of goals for our team. And you will see later on that I'm hopefully going to be getting one of the best strikers into our team. As you can see right here, Mandanda gets a new contract, crucial first team player, 100k. Hopefully he will accept that and we will see what happens. But I would like to have Handanovic, but Inter said no, 37.5 million. But in the end, it was time to get this boy, the beast, the only one, Emmanuel MNEK. And as you know, I am from Turkey. And I am a Fenerbahce fan. And as you can see, this is the beast. The only one. The Nigerian striker. MNEK. I had to offer Alcacer plus a bit more money. Right here, I'm only offering uh, Alcacer. And I wanted to see if they would accept that. Also, I wanted to go ahead and get Rodrigo. Even though he's left-footed, as far as I know, he has some amazing stats. And he starts off at an 80. So he should be around 81, 82 as well. And yeah, basically, I was just trying to go ahead and get strikers that would fit my playstyle. And Dumbia is, of course, one of them. He's a fast-paced striker with a lot of agility and good dribbling and also good finishing 83 rated the highest rated one we are trying to get so far Manzanda wanted to have a lot of money he did not accept the contracts I gave him 140k it was in the end Steve Mandanda and MNEK were the two players that we were trying to get into our team at this point MNEK wanted to have 90k we gave him a two-year contract crucial first team player and Alcacer got injured in the first First simulation of a friendly game five weeks he is gone that was maybe a sign of him just had he had to go he just had to go and the other player that was injured was Karim Belarabi and guys five million plus Alcacer for the beast the tank Emmanuel MNEK and I really wanted to get this guy into the team he's such a sick player I love him at Fenerbahce hopefully he will be going somewhere else because it's just wasted talent to be honest as you can see right here 89 acceleration 87 sprint speed such good strength on him great shot power and he is just such a beast he also has the flare trait which is great that's amazing and uh, right here steve mandanda is accepting the contract offer i gave him handanovic just didn't want to join our team and his team even didn't want to let him go so it is mandanda and mnek joining our team for this season in which we are going to be trying to go ahead and win the champions league and also the bundesliga most importantly mandanda is a great goalkeeper and i think he will still grow even though he's a 30 year old player you guys know that goalkeepers in this game still do grow Bam! It was time! It was time to finally try out my favorite player in FIFA 14, Hector Villalba. Yes, he's just a better version of Vargas. Vargas was a great player in the last season, but I felt like getting an upgrade. So it was either Villalba or Villalva. So you guys will decide in the end, this guy, Villalva, is sick on ultimate team i tried him i used him and he's just so good he was the best striker i used so far and that's so funny he's five foot three and also i was trying to go ahead and get Zuccolini into our team 22 year old well-rounded center midfielder he has every stat in the green area so hopefully we will be getting him into the team which would be great because castro is now playing on the right hand side in the right back position and we need another backup on the bench uh, except for kramer who is already there but right now guys it was time to go ahead and start the bundesliga as you can see hoffenheim and hamburg right now in first place after the first game in their bundesliga run and we are going to be playing against freiburg freiburg was the team that I lost against in my last season and that was a devastating loss I really didn't expect them to be that good so our team was warned this is not an easy task but we have MNEK and Mandanda in the team hopefully it will work out well for us but it was Freiburg on the attack at first Schmidt getting past everyone and then luckily hitting 
the net outside of our goal then it was them still attacking as you can see right here Mitrovic with the pass to Breitner Darida and then Schmidt once again but the defense got there in time I think that was a share and then it is Darida once again on the ball passing it to Schmidt this guy is really going ahead and taking a lot of shots onto our goal but it was finally time for our first attack Hakan Chalanolu with the shot it gets deflected MNEK gets to the header then it is Sun with some space but well, what a great save from the goalkeeper of Freiburg what a nice parry right there but in the second half right off the bat Hakan Chalanolu Ah, I missed that one. I really miss him scoring long shots. Has it has been a long time since he scored one of those. But Bahluli is now 70 rated and he's getting into the game for Chalanolu and also Drimic is in it. Right here, Janske with the header. But still, as you can see, Freiburg's goalkeeper on top form. Now Son with the pass. We are in the late minutes of this game. Bahluli to Bender. Bender is now going to be cutting inside and then crossing it in to MNEK. He hits the crossbar. That was his first shot in this game. I really have to figure out how to play with him. If you guys have any comments on how you think I should use MNEK and which inst instructions I should use, go ahead and tell me in the comments down below, assistant coaches. That would be much appreciated. But as you can see, that game ended 0 0. We are getting one point. At least we didn't lose against Freiburg once again. Tsukulini gets a contract offer right there. And this is also the question of the day Do you want me to get Tsukulini? into the team guys tell me in the comments down below and also go ahead and vote for Vilalba or Vilalva I want one of these two players to join our team and then I'm probably going to be loaning out Vargas to see what will happen with him when he gets glitched thank you guys so much for watching and once again it would be amazing if we could reach over 1000 likes for the start of season number two have a nice day